Welcome to our fifth season here at the Gezer Water System. I'm Dan Warner with New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary, chair of the archaeology department there. This dig is sponsored by New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary, of course, with along with the Israel National Parks and the Israel Antiquities Authority. This is, as I mentioned, our fifth season. Um, last season, if you remember, we were able to get down the end of the water shaft and, be, be, and expose what is known as the water pool. It stops, or begins, at the end of the last step of the water system, which you can't see. There are 80 steps from where I'm standing all the way back up and out. At the end of the last step starts the water pool. And the water pool is some 20 feet long, or it's a little over 7 meters. And as you can see, about uh, 14 feet wide, a little less than 3 meters wide. Last, some, uh, last winter, we were able to uh, hire an individual uh, because of the Israel government uh, supplying us a grant to clean out the debris that we left behind from last season. So he did that this past winter. This is our first week of excavations. It's taken us the first three days to clean out the debris left behind from uh, our winter uh, excursion. But what was nice, what was accomplished during the winter was all the steps. There was about a little over a meter and a half to uh, two, uh, two meters of debris sitting on top of the steps. You can't see them at this present time, but maybe in a future video. But all of those steps were revealed, and then uh, he began to clean out some of the debris left behind from uh, our previous excavation, which uh, you see in probably don't see, which is right in front of me. But I'm down low enough, you can see how high the debris were. What is interesting is that we were able to uh, expose, which we had already partially uncovered from our second season, part of a causeway that McAllister laid to get across the pool. As I mentioned, the pool is about 20 feet long. At the end of the last step, um, the pool proceeds as we made, uh, should we showed you last season, into the cavern, which you can see directly in front of me, to the east. McAllister could not uh, walk across the pool. It was full of water. As you can see, obviously, today it's not. And so he laid a series of stones, slabs, across the whole pool. And here you can see it. It covers the whole width of the pool from over here to all the way over here. Last summer we sunk three probes inside the water pool, one here to the southeast, southwest, excuse me, one here to the east, and then another one over here to the north, uh, to the northeast. While our objective this summer is to clear out the entire water pool, there are some problems because number one, we don't know how deep it is. We've gone over two meters or six feet deep here in this probe and no water was reached, and no bottom of the floor was reached as well. It does appear like it's sloping in, but it's a very gradual slope. So as we mentioned, our objective this summer is to take out the rest of the causeway, which has just been photographed, and then to uh, lift out the remainder of the debris. Now if you remember last year, I told you this was significant for us. Because McAllister could not dig out the pool, he laid the stone causeways on top of the stone causeway on top of it. Hence, he did a favor for us because he sealed the contents underneath. In other words, he sealed it from contamination, not only from his own excavations, but sealed the contents of what was there from previous generations. So we're excited as we uh, begin to remove the rest of this uh, fill in the water pool uh, because the pottery that remains behind is our major indicator for dating the system. Last summer we were able to remove some pottery and to our surprise all the pottery dated to the late Bronze Age, roughly around between 1500 and 1200 BC. There was nothing later. Everything was late Bronze Age. That's a good feel for us because we believe this water system was made by the Canaanites. We think it's even earlier than the late Bronze Age we're pushing it into the Middle Bronze Age, beginning about 2200 BC, down to about 1550 BC. So in the next two weeks that we have left, 
we will lift off this causeway starting today and then begin to uh, excavate the remains of the pool. So it should be exciting for us and I hope for you as well. So hopefully by the end of next week, you'll see at least half of the water pool removed and uh, we'll have a good handle on how deep it is. Maybe even discover the source of the water, which we have not yet been able to do. So there's a lot in store and with a lot of anticipation uh, that this will be an exciting, really the most exciting part of the day so far, opening up this water pool. So stay tuned and we look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks.